Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about forms. There are lots of different ways to change and work with forms in SharePoint 2013. First of all, I want to show you how to get things back to the way it was in 2010. You might notice that forms in general do open in a new window, not in a dialogue. So to change that, you're going to list settings and under advanced settings at the bottom here you change the launch forms in the dialog and if you click OK there go back to the tickets list and then open a form you'll notice that it does open in a dialog and I think that looks much cooler but that's just my opinion so that's one way to work with forms then if you want to customize the forms there are several ways of doing that too I'm going to show you some of these and uh, First of all, I'm going to give you an overview of these and then I'm going to do separate demos on each method of modifying the form. First of all, there's the web-based, which you can go in under here, under the list tab, and then go into the default display form. And as you'll notice, this is a web part page. You can change this web part much. You can add a web part. Actually, you can edit this web part too by adding a script link down here. That's a really powerful way of doing things. Underneath here, there's the JS link, and that's the recommended way of doing it. But that is coding, so quite complicated. And I'll show that in a separate demo later too. But I'm going to focus on the no-code solutions first. So that you can do, but you can also add web parts here so that you can, for example, add information or videos or stuff like that in a web part. So that's one way of changing the form. I'm going to stop editing there. Another way is to use SharePoint Designer. I'm going to open SharePoint Designer 2013 here. And then I'm going to go into the list and libraries, find the IT tickets. And as you see, I have the same forms there and I can go into the form and edit that. But as you'll notice, SharePoint Designer doesn't have a what you see is what you get view. It just has the code now in 2013. So it's possible to edit this stuff, but it's not, well, it does require quite a bit of coding. So I wouldn't really recommend it, but it's there, so you can do it. Another way you can change the form is to go into the list and customize the form with InfoPath. Just by clicking this button here, you can go in and modify the form. And this is a what you see is what you get environment. The problem with InfoPath is that it will not be developed further. Microsoft has, has announced that there won't be uh, InfoPath 2016. And also they have told that the end of life for the InfoPath product is 2023. So you're introducing a 2023 bug into your environment if you do this kind of customization. A fourth way of modifying the form is to use Microsoft Access. And that won't be a web-based form, of course, it will be an access-based form. But for some scenarios that might work. I'm opening access here just in a regular access database and then I'm connecting to an external SharePoint list such as the one I just showed you. And here you can connect to a list. And once you're connected to a list, you have that there. You can select the list and create a new form. And that form can, of course, be modified to your heart's content. But you do need to have Access installed. But do note that Access is part of Office 365 Pro Plus. So I'm going to show you more detail on what to do here in another demo. But this is an overview, and I'll just go ahead and close all this now. So that's a fourth way of modifying the form. Another way of modifying the form is to work with content types. I'm going to show you that also in another demo. So you can have several content types for different scenarios. So that's a very powerful and easy way to modify the web forms. You should also know that there are several third-party applications that can make the SharePoint built-in forms editor much more powerful. For example, you have the Nintex forms at nintex.com. They have a solution here called Nintex Forms, which allows you to build more powerful forms. That's not a free version at all, but uh, it is very powerful. There is also something called Dynamic Forms, uh, which uh, is a rather interesting um, 
solution. It's freeware, or actually it's beerware, I think they call it. So um, yeah, that's a solution. I, I admire what he's doing here. I don't admire the layout of his website here, but um, I do admire the, the solution. And uh, if you have the time to get yourself into that, then uh, that's a solution you might want to look at too. So that's a few different ways of working with SharePoint forms. Thank you for looking at this demo.